Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today, we're going to save some receding torches. What's going on guys? Dev from Reef Dudes. So one of the worst things that could happen is you could have a fancy new torch or new philia and you start to see the flesh receding on it. So today we're going to talk about how to fix it. Now if you have a fish or a peppermint shrimp or something actually eating your philia, then this method is obviously not going to work. But one of the most common things is actually bacterial based. And if there is a bacterial infection or something affecting it, then this method is going to help kind of save it and hopefully revive and bring it back to life. Now if you take a look at my dragon soul torch, you can see a couple dead heads there. And these are either receded or somebody ate it, not 100% sure. But there isn't much flesh around it and that is one of the surefire signs. Now if you take a look at my green torch here, you can see that flesh band underneath the torch head. That flesh band is a good healthy sign. When you see, you know, a good chunk of flesh, you know it's a happy head. But when I look at the one beside it, there's next to no flesh band. Which tells me it's not happy and because it's receded up over time. So today we're going to start by dipping it. Now we want to start with doing a hydrogen peroxide dip where my dipping water, I got two gallons of new salt water, which I'm going to add to the tank and I'm going to pull out two gallons of tank water. So this way we get a bit of a mini water change as well as going to give me water that's already at the right temperature for, the, for our dip. So 50 mils per gallon of hydrogen peroxide, I'm using 3%. And so at two gallons, we're going to add 100 mils. Then we're going to add our infected euphilia and in my case, the torches. Um, now one thing to note, this is fairly caustic, so you don't want to leave it in too long. I'm, 15 minutes is about the max, so generally about 10-15 minutes is a, a good range to shoot for. Now while it's in the peroxide, you do want to use a turkey baser and just make sure you blast everything. You want to get off, you know, if there's a pest or anything, this will help get it off. If there's any parts that are receding or any kind of dead tissue or cyan or anything, again, this is going to help work it all off. When I was talking about the flesh bands, it gives you a really good idea. If you look at this guy, you can see skeletons very receded and there's no healthy flesh there. Just for a quick comparison, look how thick that flesh band is on this guy in the other tank. So it gives you a good idea of what a healthier torch looks like. Now, as we wait our, you know, 10 to 15 minutes for our torches in the hydrogen peroxide dip, we're going to prepare the next step. RTN STNX. Now this is made more for acros, however, this dip is going to work on the LPS. Now a big shout out to Chumming Hands Reef since he was the one that introduced this to me on the live stream the other week. Now for this, it is going to be in a tank that's heated with circulating salt water and we're gonna let it sit in here for six hours. So I do have a heater control on here. I got a little Nero 3 doing a bit of gentle flow. So we got our heater, our power head, and for this we are going to add 10 mils per gallon. Um, so I have four gallons of water in this little tank. So we're gonna add 40 mils. So it's been about 10 minutes now. I'm now gonna move things over to the next stage of the dip. Now one thing you could do, like some of the heads that are dead, you could just frag those off. There is some live ones there, but ideally you just wanna clean up any of the dead stuff. And now we're gonna move it into our tank with flow. We're gonna let it sit in this bath for six hours and then move it back to the tank. And depending on the severity of it, I may do another dip tomorrow. And I may dip them a few times just to make sure, you know, any potentially bad bacteria or anything's fully killed off and hopefully it'll bounce right back to good as new. Now after six hours, you want to put your coral back into the tank and kind of just let it relax again back in tank water. Now it is possible you might have to do multiple dips. Um, in general, if this flesh is starting to recede, when you start to see the flesh be kind of like a little bit puffier, happier, you know it's in a good place. So for now, we got all the torches back into the tank. Um, as we can see, we look underneath, we'll have to keep an eye on them. It's like this purple guy, again, it's pretty receded. If we take a look at the, some of the heads on these, you can see there's a nice flesh band. So hopefully we're gonna see that flesh band. You can see already it looks a little bit puffier, which is a good sign. It's a little thicker, a little healthier, and hopefully this will just kind of start growing down the skeleton a bit more, which will be a great sign of recovery. Shout out again to Chumming Hands Reef for sharing this dipping procedure on the live stream the other week. It is way easier than the kind of KFC dip that you previously shared. And one ingredient of finding like six or 10 different things that are really hard to find, at least in Canada. So way easier to just find the STN RTNX, hydrogen peroxide, done. Now just to recap, that was 50 mils per gallon of hydrogen peroxide and about 10 to 15 minutes in there. And then we use 10 mils per gallon of the RTN STN and we let it be in there with a heater and a power head for six hours. After that, moved it back to the tank. And if required, there may be do a couple more rounds of dipping, but I'm gonna give it a few days and see how it is. 
So hopefully you guys learned something. If you have some new failure that needs a bit of love, hopefully this will help save and revive it, especially if it is something bacterial that's affecting it. Now, if you guys are not in the Facebook group yet, make sure you join it because we are just shy of 10,000 members. When we hit 10,000 members, I'm gonna do something fun. I don't know if I can do a contest or a giveaway or something. So I gotta come up with it. But either way, if you're on Facebook, make sure you join the group, link in the description below. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell and I'll catch you guys on the next video.